President Obama appeared to criticize the FBI director's handling of the newly discovered emails linked to Hillary Clinton. The president said yesterday that investigations should not operate on, quote, incomplete information. During a campaign appearance, he told North Carolina college students he has confidence in Clinton. She is working hard to win Arizona with its large Latino population. Nancy Cordes is in Phoenix. We have a real chance to turn this state blue again. Clinton told a crowd of 15,000 outside Phoenix that Trump's immigration proposals would rip families apart. We Americans don't like to see people treated like criminals or traitors or strangers because of their race or their religion. Earlier in Las Vegas, she painted a grim picture of Trump in the White House. If you're Latino, you know what life would be like because we'd have a president who doesn't see you as American. In Nevada, where nearly 30 percent of the population is Latino, Democrats are leading Republicans in early voting 43 to 37 percent. In Florida, Hispanic early voting has more than doubled since 2012, which could help offset a dip in African-American turnout. She'll need both groups because polls show the race tightening after the FBI resurrected the Clinton email investigation. In an interview, President Obama criticized the FBI director for alerting Congress about new emails that may or may not be significant. I do think that there is a norm that you know, when there are investigations, we don't operate on innuendo, we don't operate on incomplete information, we don't operate on leaks. Up until now, the White House has taken pains not to look like it's taking sides in this fight between the campaign and the FBI. But the president went a different route, saying that the FBI already concluded this summer that Clinton made a mistake by using a private server but didn't do anything criminal. Gail. All right. Thank you, Nancy.